So this is our fifth grade classroom. I'm standing in the middle of the room and I'm going to kind of take you around in a circle, if you will. This is our whole group meeting area where students are able to see the Prometheum board and come together as a group to turn and talk, talk about things, whatever it is in small groups. I also show videos, have different anchor charts already up on the Prometheum board, use the document camera. Lots of things happen here at the front of the room. As we pan around, we've got the small guided reading group area. This is where I meet with kids based on need or based off of level. We use the star reading assessment so kids at a certain level will all be in this room and then I'll pull groups based off of similar levels or similar needs. Then as we pan around to the reading and the writing wall, things are put on the wall that we've already taught with. This is a place for kids to reference um, when they're on their own. As we move around, we've got the math wall. This is where everything is la uh, labeled. And then we also have word walls. And if you lift each one of the tabs, there is a definition on the backside that kids can flip up to. As we move on to the classroom library, this is where we have level tubs according to AR, and then we also have genre tubs. This is so kids can have books not only at their level, but they can also have choice books. So that's been a new addition this year. And then also we have, back to the corner, we have netbooks where kids can go on to um, literacy websites and listen to books online, things like that. As we kind of sweep back around the classroom, we have our skills wall. This is where we host all of our um, anchor charts that we've used in developing their English language skills and every chart that we make will go up on the wall until the next unit. Back in the library is where we'll house a lot of these older charts for kids to still reference. And then as we finish up to the front we have our science wall. This is where we have um, a vocabulary wall where it's lab lab labeled, excuse me, and then we also have examples up there on the board along with an anchor chart for the kids to reference to.